In today's rapidly changing digital world, it is essential for the developers to keep up with the latest technologies and programming languages. With new languages being introduced constantly, it's natural for some languages to become less popular and eventually die out. So in this video, we'll explore the top 10 dying programming languages, their origins and the reasons why they are falling out of favor. We'll also discuss the impact of their decline and what this means to the future of programming. At number one, we have COBOL. COBOL or Common Business Object Oriented Language was developed in the 1950s and is considered one of the earliest programming languages. It was designed to be easy to read and easy to use for business applications, which is why it became popular in the banking industry and other business sectors. However, COBOL syntax can be cryptic and hard to read for those not familiar with the language, and it doesn't support modern programming models such as object-oriented programming. With the rise of new languages such as Java and Python that offer a more intuitive and flexible syntax, COBOL's popularity has declined significantly in recent years. Moving on to number two, we have Objective-C. Objective-C is a programming language developed by the Apple in the 1980s and is used for developing applications for iOS and Mac. While it has its own unique syntax, the language can also be used to write Objective-C++ code, which is a combination of Objective-C and C++. Although Objective-C has its niche following, its popularity has declined in recent years due to the rise of other languages such as Swift, which is designed specifically for developing applications for Apple's platform. Moving on to number three, we have Perl. Perl is a general purpose interpreted programming languages that was developed in 1987 by Larry Wall. The name Perl is a combination of pattern matching and practical extraction and reporting language. Perl is known for its powerful text manipulation and pattern matching capabilities, which made it a popular choice for web developers in the early 2000s. However, with the rise of new languages such as Python, which offers similar functionality in a more concise and readable syntax, Perl's popularity has been in decline for several years. Moving on to number four, we have Smalltalk. Smalltalk is an object-oriented dynamic programming language developed by Alan Kay in the 1970s. Smalltalk is known for its emphasis on object-oriented programming and its support for model view controller architecture. It's often used for developing educational and game software because of its powerful OOP features and ease of use. However, there are other OOP languages that have gained popularity in recent years, such as Java and Python, and Smalltalk's popularity has won as a result. Moving on to number five, we have Haskell. Haskell is a functional programming language that was developed by a group of mathematicians and computer scientists in the 1980s. Haskell is known for its pure functional programming paradigm, which means that all computations are done without side effects. It's often used for scientific computing and data analysis due to its strong type system, but its complexity and functional programming paradigm have made it less appealing to developers than other languages such as Python and R. Moving on to number six, we have Objective C++. Objective-C++ is a combination of Objective-C and C++ programming languages. It allows developers to use the syntax, features, and libraries of both languages in a single codebase. Objective-C++ has faded into obscurity in recent years due to the rise of other, more popular languages such as Swift. Swift, which was developed by Apple as a successor to Objective-C, is gaining popularity among iOS and Mac developers due to its modern syntax, easy learning curve, and strong community support. Moving on to number seven, we have Classic ASP. Classic ASP is a general purpose scripting language developed by the Microsoft in 1990s. It's known for its server-side scripting capabilities and is often used for web development. However, its popularity has declined significantly due to the rise of other web development technologies such as PHP, GSP, and Ruby on Rails, which offer more modern and flexible development frameworks. Moving on to number eight, we have Fortran. Fortran is a general purpose programming language that was developed in the 1950s for scientific and numerical computing. 
It's known for its ability to handle large-scale scientific computation and is still used by many researchers in the field. However, Fortran syntax is complex and difficult to learn, and its usage has declined significantly due to the rise of other programming languages such as Python and R, which offer similar functionality but with a more intuitive syntax. Moving on to number 9, we have assembly. Assembly language or machine code is a low-level programming language that is specific to a particular processing architecture. It's known for its ability to generate extremely efficient code and is often used for developing operating systems and device drivers. Assembly language's popularity has declined significantly due to its complexity and rise of the other, more user-friendly programming languages such as C and C++ that offer higher level abstractions while still providing the necessary performance and efficiency for many applications. Moving on to the last programming language, at number 10 we have Visual Basic 6. VB6 is a fourth generation programming language that was developed by Microsoft in the 1990s. It's known for its integrated development environment and its graphical user interface for building Windows desktop applications. VB6's popularity has declined due to the rise of more modern and flexible development frameworks such as .NET and the increasing usage of web-based applications. So in conclusion, the top 10 dying programming languages are COBOL, Objective-C, Perl, Smalltalk, Haskell, Objective-C++, Classic ASP, Fortran, Assembly, and Visual Basic 6. These languages were popular in their own time, but have fallen out of the favor due to new technologies, competing languages, and changing development needs. With new programming languages being developed every year, it's important for the developers to stay up to date on the latest trends and technology stack. However, as the old saying goes, some things never change and COBOL may never truly die. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.